Welcome back to the sack on a token back Tuesday. IDD, for those of you who know, I don't disagree. For those of you who are just discovering fire, that is the highly, ah, no, that is the redoubtable one. Tom somebody's Izzo. Somebody's slipping. Somebody's already slipping. It's going to be a brief segment. He's <laughs> slipping. He's highly following. questionable one, Archie Miliaccio. Segment two, fantasy football. Uh, week three, actually week three, week four preview. Um, Guardians of the Sack. Current standings, by the way, America. We know you're hanging on every I'm word. finally off the schneid. Tom, uh, Tom Izzo broke his cherry this weekend, got his first win. No, Impressive fact. It was a, it was a Donnie. It was a Donnie with 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 Allah. Sorry, Jeff. You had a hell of a Jeff Allah would have beaten most teams last week. I had to drop one sixty yeah, to yeah, beat him. Yeah, Allah would have beaten most teams, um, which makes it so frustrating. Um, but the current standings right now, um, uh, the pipe layers uh, up to a three and zero start. Stidham rules three and zero. The Dream Team I'm facing being two and one. Throck Morton, uh, that's Chris two and one. Milk Smug was DJ two and one. Team Isla one and two. Four teams at one and two. And then Burrito Bowl, Creek Amore zero oh and three. Come on, Creek. What happened to Creek? He's got injuries, doesn't he? Uh he's got some injuries, I think. Who's um, Who's the big injury for him? Let me go to the score. What, let me see what happened to him because I didn't see. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, See what happened to him. Just a real quick, um, he got blasted by 41 to Murrayville. Valley. Who's on? Def- who's in first place? Um, he got uh, DeAndre Watson, who got him 24. Cleveland's defense got him 14. He still lost by 41 points. Oh, probably because uh, some guy for um, Keenan Allen, 45 points for. Um, Dude, and Charles. then Mike Williams tore his ACL yeah, on the other side of that. Did I mean, you see that? Yeah, I mean, if you look at what happened here. Um, you got 40. This is uh, Murray Field. This is uh, Gary. Got 41 out of, or 45 rather, out of Keenan Allen. 45. That's half Creek Moore's points, for Christ's sake. But that was his really only big yeah. point scorer. Zach of the day. Moss got 22. That's a big point scorer. And then the kicker for Buffalo got 15. And he got 15 out of Jacoby Myers. So he had four guys that kind of went off. Yeah, um, but nobody wants to hear us break down the no, fantasy games. No, but anyway, that's what happened to Creek Moore. So he's on three. Got to get the Schneid this week. Um, going to week four here real quick. Um, where are we here? Schedules. So typically what we do is we look at the matchup, and RJ takes a team and says, hey, I would consider bringing this guy in off the bench. Yeah. Or looks good, leave it alone. Yeah. And then I take the other team and do the same thing. Yeah. So if you're not in this fantasy league – you probably don't give a fuck. You could probably turn this shit off. But you are probably in fantasy. So you might yeah. not want to because you may have some of these players. And let me tell you something. Your chances I've never are you made do, the playoffs in fantasy football. So it, if you need any other reason to not take my advice, that's it too. Although I feel like I've been pretty solid this this year with my takes on this. I thought thing. so far most of them have been pretty good. Yeah. We've had a couple of outliers, but most for the most part, I think the advice has been sound. The one, one piece one. of bad advice last week, we told DJ to take Mostert out. Yeah, who went off. Mostert scored 50 points yeah. or some shit. His backup scored 50. No, Mostert scored 20, had two touchdowns against the Patriots because the Pats took the passing game away. He went off and scored two touchdowns against the Patriots. That's where he went off. Then no. this week. He went off this week. No, the backup had 51. Cut. Mostert did. Mostert had three scores. The other dude had 200 yards. He had 52 in. points. Mostert yeah. had 40. I thought it was last week we told him the bench. I mean, he had two touchdowns against the Patriots. No. Are you sure? Maybe you're right. Because it was this week we didn't say bench him. We that was last week's. Maybe it was. It, but it, but I mean, he still went off then. No, he did. But we said bench, and that was the bad one that we had. That's my point. It wasn't last week. It was two weeks ago. It was yeah, against the Patriots. Yeah. Because we're yeah, like, well, right. the Pats are going to stop you're the right. run, and they didn't know that he stopped you're the right. pass. Um, but all right. So anyway, back to the schedule. Back to the schedule. Yeah. Um, week so, four. Week four, yes. All right, my first game is multiple MIGs versus Sack on your side, but that's because it's mine. All right, so then you got to take multiple MIGs, right? Well, let's let's move. I didn't. That was that's only first because it's my game. I got um, pipe layers versus milk smugglers. Pipe layers versus milk smugglers. Let me see here. Pipe layers. (laughs) The Murfield Valley pipe layers. It's a big game. It's the first place. So right now, uh, DJ, who's a milk, has got an eight point favorite. So you, who you want to take? You want to take uh, Gary? You want to take? I'll take the pipe players. Okay, so you go first. Tell me. Look at that lineup. Now they're they're an eight point dog. They're an eight point dog. So right now, as it stands, and again, it's only Tuesday, but eight point doggy poo. Yeah, look All at right, that so lineup. Who would you change, um, if anybody? And open up the bench so you can see the. Bench. I mean, so Gary put up a one seventy burger one time this year over. Yeah, he did. 
So he's got Dallas D against New England. Yep, leave that in there. <laughs> <laughs> the lack of respect. Uh, yeah, I'd leave so, that so, in there. That's a lock. So That's the leg by block of the week. <laughs> he's got Joe Burrow on the bench in favor of Brock Purdy at Arizona. Which Who's Burrow playing? Tennessee. Burrow's playing Tennessee, which isn't going to be an easy defensive game for him, but... I don't know. I like what Arizona's been doing. They might be able to get to Purdy a little bit. Um, but I, with those weapons, I, I stay Purdy. Okay. And I wouldn't change anybody else. Really? So. Okay. Um, DJ is an eight-point favorite. So usually the guy's an eight-point favorite. Look, Russell Wilson. Actually, Russell Wilson hasn't played bad. He actually hasn't. Um, but he doesn't really have it. He doesn't have another quarterback on his bench. No. Um, and again, Russell Wilson's going against Chicago. If there was ever a week, Russell and again, he had a 300-yard, three-touchdown pass. We I'm picking right. Chicago this week. <laughs> I told you, I will. Not, I'm picking against Denver every week because of Sean. Uh, if 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 Denver loses this week, you're officially the curse of Sean. <laughs> um, but no, he's got he's got Jefferson who's been st- stellar. Lo- uh, Lockett's good. I mean, his bench. He's got Judy for Denver, who's been he's good. He's got 13. But honestly, I mean, he's favored by eight. The defense, you know, Jacksonville's defense. I don't see much he can do there to change. No, I might think about a new defense, though, because Jacksonville at Atlanta, against Atlanta, I mean. Um, Atlanta's going to run all over them. They're going to run all over because they, the Colts ran all over them. Yeah. Um, so they, they got a problem, uh, that defense. Um, Atlanta's probably going to So I might think about the defense, uh, J.D., uh, G.J., D.J.D., D.J., um, but the rest of the offense, um, Mark Andrews, yeah. Um, no, oh, New Orleans running game. The Tampa Bay New Orleans. Um, New Orleans run D looks really good. The Packers have a really good line. They shut down the running game for Green Bay. Yeah. So I might think about maybe him. He's predicted to get twelve. Maybe you you look at your bench there. Um, he's got. He doesn't have a lot of good running backs though. He really doesn't. You said New Orleans he's, run D for who? He's got Gibson. Well, he's got uh, R- R- Rashad White, uh, the tailback for Tampa Bay, going against New Orleans D. That might be the one because Gibson for Washington is going against Philly. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do Gibson. Because because Robinson I think has been getting more carries. Yeah, than that's him. true. That's probably why he's on the bench. Yeah. Um, yeah. So other than that, the, that I mean the defense really that probably st- stand pat. I would. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the next game here. What do you want to do? Let's we'll go to the next one. Um, I got uh, the auto pick. Eric goes, auto pick. Eric auto, auto pick, pick against Eric. Throckmorton. Uh, where is that? <clears throat> the mighty, whatever his name. The mighty is. ghost versus the mighty ghost. Uh, the mighty ghost is a thirteen point dog. I'll uh, take you, Kovac. I'll take Kovac. All right. Let me go first. Yeah. All right. So um, Eric's got a. This is a big game for Eric. He's got to get. He's one and two. Got to get this win. Uh, Thirteen point dog. I, look, I got. I don't care who Kirk Cousins is playing against. I don't trust him. Um, he's got Jordan Love going against Detroit. Jordan Love's playing really well. He really is. Um, Carolina. Thing is, Carolina's D. I don't know if they're any good. So maybe it's at Carolina though. That to me, I would. It's probably a flip of the coin. Jordan Love has Detroit at home. Detroit's front four looks good against the run, or better, I should say. But against the pass, they're still suspect. Um, so I might think about the quarterback, maybe. Um, in terms of the rest of the team, uh, the t- the receivers, man. Ooh, you got to – these receivers are not good. Um, Trey, Traylon Burks. Oh, he picked up Brandon Cook. You dropped Brandon Cook. Yeah, he's he picked done him nothing. up. He's done nothing. And he's one of his starting receivers. Yeah, Yikes. which means he's – he, well, he's a, oh, cow, Cup he's a cowboy, done. too, and, and what's Eric's team? Well, but no, but no, Cooper Cup is on IR, mm-hmm. so he auto-picked him. Waddle's out. Yeah, he's questioning If, if Waddle plays this week, of course you put Waddle yeah. in. Um, I don't know. Um, Tennessee, you know, Kirk, any, I'm not Kirk, uh, Ryan Tannehill's a joke. <laughs> he's a fucking joke. I, I would, if it's not, if his name is not Derrick Henry... I wouldn't take any skill position player on on, on Tennessee because Tannehill's going to fuck it up. Tannehill's going to fuck it up. He's been fucking yeah. it up. I mean, really. So, Seahawk D against the Giants. They're going to New York. Um, until the Giants get creative. I, but I still think the Giants can win that game because it's at home. They have 11 days off. But um, and, and they're the desperate team. They have to win. Seattle, so, beyond that. Seattle probably get some sacks. Yeah. That's not I bad. mean, beyond, I think about the quarterbacks because Love is playing well. But beyond that, I'd probably stay where I am. Um, he's got Hawkinson from Minnesota. He's one of the best tight ends in the league in terms of your uh, points. So I'd stay with that. Yeah, Throckmorton, you can stay put. He's got he's got one of the best lineups in the league. Mm. Debo's questionable. He's got Debo. He's got Kittle. Yeah. 
I mean, Pittman's in his flex. He's got Tyreek Hill. Jalen Hurts at quarterback. That's a stout team. Yeah, it is. I'd stay put. Next um, game. Yeah. Burrowita. Yeah, Creekamore, and they call me against Brian. Against the other Kovach. Yeah, the Kovach. Um, Give me Kovach for two. All right, you going to have Kovach for two. You go first. Whew, he's got Justin Fields in right now. Um, mm. But Matt Stafford's his quarterback on the bench, and um, I don't think he's really scoring a lot of points. Well, because Cooper Cup is out. And yeah. they're, um, I mean, the Rams are playing well, but they I don't think he's like putting game. up big numbers. No, they're playing an Indy who's surprisingly 2-1. and one. Maybe the most surprising team in the league right now is Indianapolis. Um, well, and my thing is, Justin Fields, because he's playing Sean Payton, he's going to have a good week this, this week. He's due. He's due for it. He's due. I think he's going to run. If he's ever going to break out. <laughs> well, you think about what Miami just ran all over. Yeah, them. but Miami has a coordinator. I, I, don't, I know. Don't, I know. Yeah. But, like, I'm just talking in, in, in Justin Fields' mind, like, just take off, dude. These guys can't catch you. I, you know, this that game, we're going to go over those picks for a minute, but that Denver-Chicago game is very – somebody's going to get fired. Somebody might be getting fired Monday morning. Whoever loses that game, look, somebody's getting fired. <laughs> um, so is that it in terms of him? Um, I'm looking – so he's got I – mean, he's got Swift from, from Philly. Yeah, he's doing well. And he's got him on the bench, which surprises me. Well, he's got – oh, because he got Cleveland's backup because uh, it replaced Nick Chubb. Hmm. Yeah, Swift. Yeah, he might want to think about Swift. Oh, DeAndre Swift has been running really Rupshod. well. Now, I mean, running Rupshod. Now, Washington's usually pretty good up front, um, so maybe that's why he's out. Because mm. I don't really know what their run defense looks like this year. But yeah, I don't know. Um, that's the only thing I would consider. Okay. Um, um, I think the rest of it, he's got it. He's got. I mean, he's got Mike Evans and Stephon Diggs. Zay Flowers in the flex. That's yeah. yeah, it's a pretty good lineup for Brian. I mean, so he's a yeah. Creek's a twenty-one point dog here. Um, well, look at Creek's lineup. He's had some injuries. Obviously, the quarterback for Indy was doing well, but he's questionable. He's projected to get twenty if he plays. If he plays, I would think about. Well, you know what though? If I mean, plays, Deshaun? Deshaun Watson had twenty-one points he's last week. Play. He's playing better. The the defense. I'll tell you, Cleveland's defense is for real too. They're yeah. gonna get the ball. Um, but um, Najee Harris, I you know. He's killing him. He's killing him. Um, think about, you know, and again, he's got a lot of injuries. Austin Eckler. Eckler's out. It, well, he's questionable according to this. If Eckler is healthy, that's a no-brainer. Put him in for uh, the backup because you get the backup, Josh, Joshua Kelly. That's a no-brainer. Uh, he's got Gibson, or Garrett Wilson, but his quarterback's, or his, yeah. his coordinator's killing him. You might want to think about um, who's his receivers. He's only got one, no, because Odell Beckham's still questionable. He's got Rondell Moore. He's not a lot in terms of receivers. Um, Godwin's been good. Uh, Earth's the tight end has been good. He's got DJ Moore. <laughs> I almost said he could put in Jacoby Myers. Mm. Remember every time I see that Jay Myers, I think yeah. it's Jacoby. Yeah. But it's a kicker. It's a kicker. Jason. I think he needs to drop that kicker and look for Get some firepower. There's, yeah. There's actually some some people out yeah. there on the wire. Yeah. I would definitely do that because better. he's got to get some spark. The, look, his lineup's pretty solid. I get why he's playing the guys he's playing. Um, the Browns' defense has been stellar. Um, the kicker for Philly's been good. I mean, he's got good yeah. pieces. Um, but his quarterback play is really what's killing him. Again, this is where you got to get the quarterback right because if you But you're, Deshaun's been all right for him, hasn't he? He's averaging 17. That's that's not bad. you got to be 20 or more as a quarterback, I think. If you're not averaging 20 as a quarterback in, in fantasy, no bueno. I agree. No bueno. Um, but again... Um, now, Richardson, who's questionable, is, is projected to get 20 mm-hmm. if he plays. So, obviously, if I'm if I'm U Creek, I'm watching that right up until 1 o'clock. If that kid is a but goal. what D is uh, Richardson going up against? The Rams. That could be problematic for him. Watson's going up against Baltimore. Look, at Watson, I think, is a sinning. I'd say give him one more week and yeah. see what he does. Because I think he's he looked better last week. He's looked better every week. Not great, but better. He's he, I think he's going yeah. the right way. So, I'd say stay with him. The, yeah, man, no, I mean, the, the, the big thing, Austin Eckler is a stud, and he's got to get him back. He's questionable. Yeah, that's so sucks obviously, to have you know, if, if I'm Creek, I'm I'm waiting till twelve fifty nine to make some of these decisions and see if these guys are, are able to go, because a couple of those I think are swapping out. Next game, um, where do you want to go? Mm, let me see. Sorry, you caught me off guard. You tell me. Uh, who haven't we? Done? I was looking at players on the waiver wire. Uh, Stidham rules Allah. 
Uh, this looks like a Donnie in the Brook. All is favored by two over undefeated Stidham Rules. Stidham Rules, Joel, 3-0. and 3-0, he should have lost to you. <clears throat> that was a gift. Your yeah. guy, yeah, that was, he should have lost. That was when Lamar got a, a six play. points. Yeah, that's that's six point eight. That's a joke. <laughs> yeah, that, that was. I, had, I have bad running backs, and I had two running backs do better than him that week. Um, that was horseshit. But anyway, Joel's three zero. So however, he's there. Um, Allah should would have beaten anybody else last week, but he ran into you. Um, so who do you want to take? You want to take uh, Joel? Or you want to take Jeff? You pick. I picked the last two. Uh, I will take uh, Allah. Okay. Um, he's a slight favorite. Justin Herbert's been good, very good. Uh, Derrick Henry's been very good. Kenneth, I'll tell you what, Ken Walker for Seattle, that running back, man. He dropped a 30 and, on yeah, me last week. And they week. discovered, you know, Cincinnati rediscovered Jamar Chase. Uh, Schuster for the Patriots, that's a questionable Yikes. one. Um, I would be thinking DeAndre Hopkins, whose favorite, I'd think about him. Um, I'd think about, shit, Sky Moore for, for KC. Um, I don't know. Against Quentin the Johnson for the, the, the Chargers against. I might think about the Daily Double. Quentin Johnson because Mike, Mike Williams got hurt. He's out for the year. Hey, so I would man. think about Quentin Johnson, uh, who, who's, who's Herbert's his quarterback, going against that Vegas defense, which th- that secondary suspect. Yeah. I might think about that one. Um, the Bills defense against Miami. Ooh. We're going to find out if the Bills defense is for real. <laughs> it's at home. Um, they've played well, except for the well, the Jets game. They played well. The damn quarterback cost them, but um, they haven't given a lot of points. They've been solid, but Miami's going to test them. Miami's the best offense in the league right now, uh, so we'll see there. Um, they're only projected to get three points. You might want to think about picking up a defense this week. I'm not saying Buffalo can't hold them down, but I would look for another defense. I would for just for this week. So yeah, anyway, to you. But th- but if he has to drop them. He doesn't have to drop them. This guy's on his bench. You can drop. Him. He's got a tight end on IR <laughs> for fucking Denver. <laughs> All right, drop that, <laughs> drop that clown. He's out and pick okay, up a defense. So looking at Joel's, he's got a pretty strong lineup in there. Yeah, so it's, it's hard for me to really They're solid look at somebody. You know, you're not going to take out Amon Ra. You're not going to take out DK against the Giants. No. Um, no, you're not. So he's got Brees Hall and Ramondre Stevenson in. Is there anybody on the bench that would outplay? <sighs> Ramonde hasn't found his groove yet. No. Um, and he's going against the Dallas defense, which could be tough. Look, if there's ever – look, the Pats ran it against the Jets. they got to run it again. And, and he and him and Zeke – by the way, Zeke Elliott, 19 carries, 80 yards last week. That's pretty solid. That's pretty awesome against that defense. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they got a dual-headed monster. Stevenson's due for a big game. And they should be running the ball 40 times against the Cowboys if they're smart. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I can't um, see putting Tank Big- Bigsby in over Ramondre. Ramondre's the number one back. Tank Bigsby scored last week, too. I know, but he's projected to get 2.2 this I week. know, but last week he had, like, double digits. <laughs> that's just... Tank. By the way, best name in football, Tank Bigsby. Tank Bigsby. Tank, really that's good. a football. If there's such a Dude, thing. He, a, he's got Laporta on his bench, who's been fucking lighting it up. Yeah. The tight end for Detroit. But Kelsey's his Kelsey's starter. Kelsey. Yeah. He needs to try to trade Laporta. Yeah. Somebody could use that. He's also got end. Tutu Atlaw for the Rams. That Tutu Atwell, who started to get he's been, he's been catches good. like crazy. He's been good. Yeah. No, he's got a he's got a loaded team. I don't know. Um, I mean, Tutu Atlet At, Tutu's um, projected to get thirteen, mm-hmm. and his flex play Brees Hall is projected to get eleven point four. Yeah, I don't think they're going to run on KC because KC's got Chris Jones back, and the Jets' offensive line is not is bad. Tutu against mm-hmm. Indianapolis. Probably going to catch a lot of balls. I think he will. But, I might think about that as a flex, yeah. I agree with you. But I, I really – I love Brees Hall, and I want him to do well. So I'd almost, like, sit on that, but Tutu might. Yeah, Brees Hall was very good against Buffalo. Um, Patriots shut him down. Did nothing against the Pats. Yeah, well, no, but the Pats are going to four. They only gave him four carries. Yeah. Yeah, again, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand what, what, they, what is that coaching staff doing. What are it. you doing? Yeah, so – um, any event. He, you know, he went on Twitter and he, he just put four footballs, dot, 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 after that game. Subliminal message? Yeah. Four footballs. All right, where are we headed next? Uh, it's either you or me. And here we give you the most boring segment uh, of all time. Do you want to go first with a multiple mix against Pete, you and him? Okay. All right, so... You are favored by a lot, thirty points. Jeez, what's up? What's wrong with Pete? Did he waste too many picks on? He's got a he's, got a, he's got a running back that he hasn't put in there yet, so that'll change. 
Um, right now he's got a zero spot at his running back. Um, I'll go with Pete. Who's because, out? Uh, Craig Reynolds, the running back for Detroit, is supposedly out. Um, really? Yeah. Um, it shows him healthy. He's going to drop one of these quarterbacks. Shows right? him as healthy. Uh, he's projected to get zero. Why? <laughs> Does he have the wrong guy in? He's a running back. He's in the running back spot. I don't get it. Um, Who's the starter over there? Montgomery? Maybe Montgomery's coming back. He was, I don't know. So he's the third string back. Maybe, Why does he have yeah. an I mean, I would think about picking up a quarterback, Pete, because because Aaron, Aaron Jones is well. I mean, picking Aaron, up a quarterback. I mean, a running, a running back because Aaron oh. Jones is uh, is questionable. Now, if Aaron Jones plays, it's a no brainer because he's fourteen points. You put him in, obviously. But um, and they're going against Detroit. So I mean, I would think Aaron Jones if he's healthy. But if not, you're going to have to comb the waiver wires and get yourself a running back. Um, if this guy's projected to get zero, oh, aren't you up. supposed to be looking at mine? <laughs> okay. Oh shit. We're both looking at Pete's. All right. Well, anyway, you you tell. All right. Um, <laughs> I thought I was doing Pete. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna do myself. No, don't. Um, if you're favored by thirty, if you're favored by thirty, what do you? Do? <laughs> yeah. I'm um, not touching shit. No, I mean. Although, Jalen Warren, I'm not sure about that one. They they're. You know, Pittsburgh was like, oh, he's going to get way more involved in the offense. Najee, you kept handing the ball to Najee Harris. And what, there's no way Najee Harris is averaging more than three yards a carry. Is he? Or am I off base? Uh, I don't know what he's averaging. It seems like two yards and a, cl- and a cloud of dust every time. Um, I don't know. I have to look at his stats, uh, which I will after this. But um, when I look at your bench, I mean, I don't know that you – I might that put Kamara in over Jalen Warren. Maybe um, I'm going to try Kamara out. Over Warren? Yeah. What about Herbert against that Denver defense? Who got run but all Kalil over. But Herbert has done nothing. I know, but he's projected to get 12. That's all I'm saying. That's true. Um, and I it mean, is, it well, is it's almost like because of how much I'm projected ahead. Alvin Kamara is eligible this week. I know. That's he's projected to get 14. I'm, but they're going against Tampa Bay. Yeah. He yeah, has a good they just defense. got ran all over. Philly has a better line than these I know, guys. Do. I know. Um, and you know, Tampa Bay dropped two touchdown passes in that game. They were in that. They could have been in that game. You can't drop touchdown passes against Philly. And Mike Evans was doing all the dropping. He eventually caught one at the end, but he dropped two touchdowns before that. Um, so Philly, anyway. Philly could have been way ahead in that game. They couldn't put the ball in the end zone. No, because Tampa's D is good. I know, but they still um, they still stomped them. Twenty five to eleven. Yeah. It wasn't even that close. I don't think that's a stomping. 30, 37 to 3 a is a stomping. It was a drop. 27 to 3 is a dropping. It was no. 70 to 20 is a dropping. A late, a late touchdown made it that. At the worst, it was, it was a 19 a, point game. And then and then 19 points, that's a drubbing. No. Yes. Three touchdowns is a drubbing. 19. Three touchdowns. 19 is two points. 21 from that. points. It didn't even end up bad. It ended up two touchdowns. I, you said it was going to be a one score game. They dropped two touchdowns. They didn't score him. You said it was going to be the a best score receiver game. on the team, Mike Evans, who's the first ballot Hall of Famer, dropped two touchdowns. What, what are the, the odds of that happening? What happen? was the score of the game? Twenty-five to eleven. Right, and it was a late touchdown that made it that close. He dropped two others. So he did. If he catches them, it's tied. Well, like one guy, one Italian. Coach it said, is not if normal. If my grandmother had wheels, she'd be. A it bicycle. is not normal for a first ballot Hall of Fame receiver to drop two touchdowns in one game. That is not actually normal. it is because no. he dropped so many of Tom Brady's passes last year. It's not even not in one, not two touchdowns in one game. The first game of the year, he, he dropped, dropped the a bomb. fucking wide open. That was bomb. the first game. That was like in the middle of the season. Like anyway. boink. Yeah, no, but he dropped two. So yeah, he's prone to drops. He he wasn't prone to drops before. Last year he was. That was the first year that ever happened. He's on the downslide. He he caught one later in the game. <laughs> you're you're just telling me how despicable it is that he dropped two. I'm saying he doesn't normally drop two touchdowns. That he was he, he started, that hit him in the hands. That's starting to become the norm. That hit him in the hands. <laughs> Whatever. He's a Hall of Famer. Hall of Famers are Hall of Famers because they don't drop touchdowns. <laughs> anyway, I don't even know why we're arguing. Anyway, about the this. point is, um, <laughs> I wouldn't. You're until he, he being Pete does something with his running backs. I wouldn't make really any changes. He has to pick up another um, running back. He does, and there's there's backs on the on the waiver. No, board. I would I would think about the only thing I would think about with you is maybe Khalil Herbert against that Denver defense. For Warren, that's it. Other so that, that would be change. your swap out there. That would be my swap not, out. Other than that, Kamara. I wouldn't change anything. Who? Kamara. Maybe, but Tampa's D is, run D is good. 
I know. It's just I feel like Kamara is a better back than Khalil Herbert. He is, but the, but Khalil Herbert's playing one of the worst defenses in all of football. Yeah. If if Miami's third stringer could run for 200 yards, that's a good point. I'm just, that's saying. A good point. I'm just saying. I'm not saying Kamara's not talented. It's his first game back. They're probably not going. He's probably going to be. A, he's probably going to be on a pitch count too. His first game yeah, back. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, about that. so I would just say I'm not saying Kamara's not talented. He is, but he hasn't been healthy in two years. So my thing is Denver's defense <laughs> just, right so now. What I did with Kamara, I saw. I think Gary dropped him. Gary dropped him yeah. just before the games last week, and I looked and I was like. Hmm. I was yeah. like, you know what? I haven't been real happy with my running backs. I could drop somebody right now and yeah. pick him up, and I'll and I won't have him for a week. No, but that's it was a right. risk. Yeah, but it's a low it risk. Didn't matter. The guy I dropped for yeah. him, I wasn't going to start anyway. No, you weren't playing him. If you yeah. if you're not going to play the guy, right? Who cares? Then what's the big deal? Yeah. So I mean, it's a low risk. To it's me. but part of it is admitting you made a bad pick and just yeah. cutting cutting bait. Nobody hits on all of them, America. Um, which leads us to. The succulent sack uh, against the Dream Team, the defending champions. They are two and one. That is Isaac. I am it's one. Important two. game for the succulent sack. I would think so. And it's a Donny. Once I'm favored by point three. <laughs> so uh, if I'm Isaac, That's just close. Yeah. If I'm Isaac, just bench everybody. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I would, say, you know, Trevor Lawrence. When is he going to wake up? Um, for real. He's got a lot of weapons. I thought he'd be better. Now again, we're week four here. He could have five touchdowns on Sunday. He's capable. Um, the succulent sack. Yeah, um, I would say, and again, he doesn't have another quarterback on his bench, so they're going against Atlanta. Um, yeah, I'd give him another week. Uh, Pollard against New England's defense. Uh, I don't know about that one. He's projected to get 18. The Pats are very one of the top five defenses in the league, um, so I don't know about that one. But his running backs on his bench don't. He doesn't have much. McKinnon's been pretty good. Jerry McKinnon. Uh, for Kansas City, they're going against the Jets. So I guess Paula would make more sense. Uh, Mixon's been good for um, for Cincy. His receivers are studs. And uh, I don't know, Ravens D against Cleveland? Uh, Ravens D has been getting gashed lately. <laughs> I don't know about the Ravens D. Maybe that one. Beyond that, I'd kind of stick with what he has. Anyway, your, your move, your chess move. Um... I mean, I'm looking at your bench right now, and, and everybody on the bench kind of seems like a fringe play. They are. So maybe the best play on your bench is Reynolds for Detroit. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he's no he's he's not better than anybody you have in. Not currently, no. Your your receivers are the strong the strong part of your team. Yeah. Your receivers and your quarterback. Mm-hmm. So So yeah, I would I would keep where yeah. you are. Um Chiefs D against the Jets offense. That's a good. I think I'm staying with that. Yeah, no doubt. Um, so anyway. have you picked up a new defense every week? No, I've stayed with Casey for a couple because of their matchups. Because mm. it was Chicago last week, they got 12 points. Mm-hmm. So I mean, you know, I mean, um, I'm not opposed to picking up. To, I do look at those just in case to see if they're, you know, like. I yeah, mean, sometimes it makes sense. Sometimes it makes sense depending on the matchup. But I mean, Chicago. I mean, the Jets' offense has been so anemic. Yeah. And the Chiefs are healthy, especially in the front seven. I mean, they're going to dare. They're going to do their bounce stuff. They're going to dare this kid to throw. Yeah. And you take away Brees Hall and Delvin Cook in the running game, and the Jets are easy to stop. So it's up. It's on the Jets coaching staff to do something they haven't done yet. You know what defense might be good? It's on Who? the waiver wire right now. The Who? Bengals. Who are they playing? Tennessee. Yeah, that was the Ryan Tannehill factor. Yeah. What's the, what are they projected to get? Only six point eight, which surprises me. I, I don't know if they're thinking Henry's going to. Tannehill do just had three picks. I don't think he's going to do that two weeks in a row because they're going to. Vrabel's going to be up his ass. Yeah, asshole. but the Bengals finally had a good defensive game. That damn defensive end. What's his name? He had like three. This dude was a beast. He blew that game up last mm-hmm. night. He single handedly destroyed that Ram offensive line. What was his name? I don't know. I want to say Hendrickson or something, but it's not Dash. He's a big. He's a. He's. He's that dude. Yeah. Do they still have the white guy in the middle? Uh, I believe they do. You know what I'm talking about? I do. No. Um, Big ass tackle. No, they 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 uh, the front four played very well last night against the Rams. So, um, but again, the Jets' offense right now, no bueno. So I think the Texans' D against Pittsburgh could do some damage. What are they projected to get? Only six point six. Mm. But I don't, Pittsburgh has shown they could be shaky. I know. I can just see Zach Wilson having another one of those games where he throws. Three oh, without picks. A, oh, you, you've got dude. Yeah. You're. I'm not. If I was just. I was just talking about defense. I'm just saying, in terms of quarterbacks, who has the biggest question mark on him or Fields right now? 
No, Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson. Nobody believes in Zach Wilson. No. No, no yeah. I'm not saying this yeah. as advice for you. Yeah. I was just looking on the waiver wire yeah. to see what's out there. No, and I see your point about Cincinnati because they, they've been good. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think that um, – They played the Rams well. They did. They did. Um, but, anyway, is that it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so those are our, our fantasy do's and don'ts for the week, America. If you're in fantasy football and I'm betting you are, okay, take a look at some of your rosters. You know, big thing is, and, and guys coming off a big week too, sometimes it's hard to go back to back. I had Higgins last week get 29 points this week. He didn't do shit. So, I mean, you know, you got you to gotta look for consistency guys that are consistent, as I'm sure you already know. Um, and you got to have a quarterback that's going to get you 20 points come hell or high water, especially in a passing league. So, um, because that gives you a puncher's chance. If your quarterback sucks, you virtually have no chance. You have to have a guy go for like 50 points. Dude, when your opponent has a defense go for 30, quarterback go for 30, a running back go for 30, Mm -hmm. and a receiver go for 26, you expect you're going to lose that game. You think you're going to win that game. Well, if it's the other I'm talking about when your opponent does that. Yeah, because that was Allah. When Buffalo dropped 31, I was like, this is such bullshit. I'm about to be 0-3. Devontae Adams saved me. But um, uns- unsung hero. Yes. Adam Thielen. I called 31 that. points. I called that. I told you. To we get, all called that. Yeah, I said he was going to get tar- targets. Because of Andy Dalton. Yeah. Yeah. We all said you know, that. Lean on him. Lean on him. You. It was me. I was the first one. Bullshit. It's on tape. Go look at it. We, right no, there. We were talking about it at my house. We talked about it on the air. We did. We went on fantasy last week. I said, you might want to think about him. He's going to get touches. Oh, uh, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. I said, he's going to get in Dalton. We said, if Dalton starts, he's going well, to lean on Well, him. no, because he, he got a lot last week. Remember? No, but we said because Last Dalton, week, all of a sudden. When we found out that Dalton was starting, he's definitely yeah. going to lean into him because yeah. he knows him. So, I mean, yeah. yeah, no, and that's what came to fruition. Uh, but anyway, um, good luck to you guys in your fantasy this week. 11 um, catches for Adam Thielen. Yeah. Well, he's been a number one before. Huh. And a very good one. So I, think I picked him up in like round yeah. ten. So anyway, it was a good pickup by you. And he's a stud. So and he's a legit one in that offense. So anyway, um, but that's our fantasy projections for the week. Um, in closing, I would say that uh, quick run around college football. Um, there's a lot of ranked teams this week playing. A lot of good games. Notre Dame, by the way, at Duke four and zero. Who would have thought? The Alma of Danny Dimes. And they're looking good. They've looked. They've looked impressive. I mean, they've been. They're obviously just and a quarterback. Is machine. the is they're, the Pac-10? They're a quarterback. The factor. Pac-10 has you think six. About Daniel Jones. Yeah. And yeah. Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones. <laughs> and did we mention Daniel, <laughs> we mentioned Daniel Jones? Um, but uh, the Pac-10. Dan six, Dimes. They, in mm. the last year, of the Pac-10 six ranked teams. Mm. Unfucking believable. And Colorado dropped out because the bubble oh, laughs and they got God. six ranked teams. That sucks. Um, yeah, I'm still, I'm still with Dion. Uh, I'm still with. I'm not, look, Dion's starting, starting to get hate. Now. They've already, no, it's because first few weeks was all love. Now it's start. He lost one, and now they weren't beating that team. Oh, I know. You can't lose your best player, and he's your best. By the way, he's your best offensive player and your best defensive player. <laughs> That's insanity. That's insanity. That kid's the best player in college football, probably, and he's and you can't lose that guy. So I don't fault Dion for that, no. And but they got, I was, U- I was watching this they got USC this week. <laughs> well, I was watching this clip where Dion was in front of the, I guess the team. Yeah. And somebody was filming him because everything's on camera now. Yeah. And I don't get clickbait, but here he is in front of the team with a. Well, but I mean, come on though. Or, or I would have said turn the cameras but off. But my thing. Turn the cameras or, off. The Oregon guy saying all that on camera when he's backed by Nike when Oregon is one of the. Biggest look at me schools in every sport. They have to be. It's Oregon. How's that draw attention to themselves? <laughs> well, no, but it, no, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. All schools uh, are trying to make money. They, of course, they, they are. They need that's, eyeballs. That's, they're no different than any other school. <laughs> yeah. So uh-huh. I'm just saying, I think it's funny that kind of hate paid toward Dion when, like, Dion's been that since he was in the NFL. He no, can't he's even always help been it. that. And he, he can't even help it at this point. No, he can't help it. The circus is going to follow him no matter what he, he it's does. Who he is. It's who he is. And no matter what he does. Um, and look, but but then Dion goes, look, I'm not here to get clickbait, but then he has this speech and there's all the cameras on. Right, right. Why is that even on? Because when you get blasted, it's the same thing. when you get blasted 42 to 6, if I'm the coach, I'm mean, shut those fucking things off. This isn't for, we need to talk. Okay, that you don't you don't sit there oh, no, in front well, of the Dion, camera. Dion's speech wasn't on camera. Yeah, it was. What do you say? He's like, nine million people watching. This is what you do. He's like, you know what? When you when you're not getting picked on Sunday. 
when you're not getting drafted to play on Sunday, you remember this. He, this is all. He said that? Yeah, oh yeah. Damn. Oh yeah, in? it's all on there. He I'm went like, in okay, like that. Mr. I don't do things for clickbait. Why are you doing that then? Maybe he meant that it. Is a, I don't care if he meant it. That's not for the cameras. When you get blasted 42-6, yeah. to six, you don't have the cameras in there filming your post-game speech to the team or your... Per, Today, you know. everything is for the cameras. That's part of what he's building. Nick Saban doesn't do that shit. I know. He's doing it a different way. The Kirby Smart for Georgia doesn't do that shit. They do that. You know, you know, if, you get, if you lose a game... And look, they weren't supposed to win the game. That's not the problem. The problem is you don't sit there in front of a bunch of reporters and say, look, I don't do things for clickbait. And then the fucking next speech you have, the fucking everybody's recording it. <laughs> That's well, called clickbait, no, Dion. Dude, every speech he's given this year has been on camera. I'm saying, but he's saying I don't do things for clickbait. Well, then, okay, shut the cameras off. I don't need to know that shit. Well, no, he's he's not shunning the cameras. He's just saying I'm not changing when I'm on camera. I wonder how many clicks that speech got. Oh, tons. Clickbait. Which means the Oregon guy the wasn't or- wrong, wrong. No, but the Oregon guy's doing the same fucking thing. He never denied it. What are you talking about? He never did. Yes, he did. How? He said, substance, not flash. They're going for clicks. We're going for wins. No, you're both doing that. the same I love shit. That. But he, But it's false. It's... He's he's criticizing. You just said the guy. Dion's been that way. That is totally who Dion is. But it's who the the or it's who Oregon is too. I don't know. I don't see too many speeches. Oregon. That making... speech was on camera. That was the post game. No, no, that was the pregame. Oh, that came. Oh, that's right. That was his battle cry to his team, which worked. I'm not saying. Look, no, I'm not saying that he shouldn't be, you know, pumping his team up to do that. I'm saying. It's funny to think that Oregon coach was if, acting if, like if they like that Oregon coach was acting like well, uh, but they, if Sanders they lost is, that game, is, is if they lost that game, that video would have never got out. They, that they showed that after the game, of course. Yeah, if he lost that game, you'd never seen that video. <laughs> no way, because that was the whole thing. That so again, it, they, they he did they didn't figure out. he wanted them to he, see it. He, he did it for clicks. But that's my only point is that. It's funny to hear. After they won, he did it. Not before, after. What? I'm saying he didn't, he, that you didn't see that. That was after the game we saw that speech. We and how many before. clicks do you think that got? A ton. Hmm. Thank you. There's my point. But he So did the it. same point you made He did Dion. it after. So? What do you mean he did it after? Dion had, did you, you got to see this you speech. You said Dion did the speech after? They lost. If you he, you can't sit there and tell America you don't do things for clicks, and then the fucking next beat you have, everybody's fucking clicking it. <laughs> okay, but at the same it's time, just, you can criticize a person for doing things for clicks. I'm just saying while you're doing. Dion it for clicks. said, and I quote, "I don't do things for clicks." And in the very next speech and, he gives, and this guy and he, is criticizing, and he's blasting something. his team, who he knew was a three touchdown underdog, who he knew was missing its best player. Did you expect? I mean, honestly, of course you're supposed to tell your team we have a shot sh- here, but Dion Sanders is a smart guy. He knew they were overmatched. Right, but he knew it. He coaches hard. He said it. I'm not saying he's that. He's not going to go but in there and turn say, around and say, look, maybe that was the best they could do. They were overmatched. Right, no. He's he, like, that's all. That's the best you can do? I'm like, that team has way, to your he's point. He's pushing his team. He's, he's coaching his team. Fine, do that off camera. Everything's don't turn around been and, on camera. Don't turn around and go. Everything and, is on no, camera. No, but he, he, he's not saying, hey, I need to be better. He's saying, you need to. They do. You need to. They do. I didn't see Dion saying, look, I fucked up. This is on me first. My job to get the team ready, and I failed. I didn't hear him say that at all. No, he said, we got outcoached. We got outplayed. He said that. Yeah, well, that speech had nothing to do with him. It was all about them. He should have started with, hey, this starts with me. I got to be better. Maybe. Then it's, hey, by the way, you're, you're better. There's not 9 million people watching. This is what you do. <laughs> Almost making it sound like they played down to their competition. Uh, no, your competition was better. He's just, maybe he's just trying to challenge them. He's trying to push Fine, them. Do, do it off camera. Because, Mr. If you don't do it for clicks, don't fucking put that out there and let everybody see it. Because that proves it's the guy... for clicks. I know, but that proves the guy's point. No, it... It does! The, the, the guy's point doesn't need to be proven. It's everybody is doing everything It adds validity to his statement about him. That's all I'm saying. No, if the statement is valid yeah. that Colorado is doing things for clicks. But... Every school but is. Don't, okay, but then don't say you don't. Dion said, I don't do things for clicks. I'm keeping receipts. I know what he said, really? Then why is your next speech, if your team gets throttled, telling them about how they're not going to get drafted on Sunday as opposed to going, because look, the it's on me. the school is selling it. The school wants everything on camera. They're selling everything already. This USC game? This is helping them sell it. 
That, this and makes him look having like every Sanders speech. You can't on say you don't do something clickbait, and then the next speech is clickbait. Okay, but you can also in one in one breath be criticizing somebody for clickbait while doing clickbait. I don't care. Look, if my team it's got the bla- same fucking if my thing. team got blasted like that, yeah. My speech to the team is not going to be on camera the, uh, the after speech or the next day or the, whatever it is. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. You're not Deion I'm Sanders. I'm not doing that. Yeah, I get it. I'm doing that in clothes. I'm keeping it in house. I'm not saying he shouldn't criticize his team. I'm, uh, that's in house. That's all it is. I because he, he was just speech. as much to blame as they were. Okay? So don't sit there and tell. And I'm not saying he got out coached. I don't think he had enough talent, quite honestly, to beat that team. No, you said <laughs> there's, they had no, there was no way they were going to beat that team. I didn't think so. And like, not and without that kid. And that's why I that think. That kid gave him a puncher's chance. And that's why I think <laughs> what he was doing to his team. Now, I wouldn't coach this way. But he's, he has said, I coach hard. When he was questioned about telling all those kids to go into the transfer portal, he said. I'm not saying don't coach hard. I'm saying you, that's not a speech for the American public. Your team just got him humiliated. Maybe he thinks it is. It's not. I disagree with that 100%. It's not. When your, I mean, team, when your team gets throttled, and by the way, they didn't. it wasn't because they didn't play hard. They had more talent. Right. So to <laughs> me, it's not a matter. So, so to me, it, this, is, this is why, to me, it's coaching style. Because he knows they shouldn't have won. So that speech is, I don't even think it's that sincere. It's a coaching tactic. He's pushing those kids. They had no business saying, winning that game. I'm not saying he shouldn't push them. I'm saying that shouldn't be on camera. Because it makes it sound like, if you hear the speech, like it was all on them. Yeah. At no point did he say, because honestly, if you're going to do that, any coach, you start with yourself. Because your job as the coach is to get the team ready. It's, it's, a, it's a team effort. When you say team, yeah. that includes the coach. You no. can't sit there and blast them going, oh, well, you don't get drafted. And you're sitting on your couch watching Sunday football. You remember this, like, oh, whoa, 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 time out. <laughs> time out. <laughs> Hold on a minute, okay? I, so I think we're arguing different things. Here. I'm saying he can't sit there and say, I don't do things for clickbait, and then that fucking speech is right out there. Click, 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 click. Because it feeds into what this guy said. I'm not saying he shouldn't coach him that way. That's up to him. But that's off camera. You don't do that. Not when your team gets blasted. And by the way, they were they were not the, the more talented team. They should not so have won that. I game. would never coach this way. Most I, people, I don't, I don't think. I would. don't coach hard. I would think you would honestly. I would, but, but I wouldn't do it in front yeah, of a camera. I get, to, I get the whole camera. I'm not gonna that, look at. That's I'm why not gonna, I think I get. It. I understand yeah. what you're saying, but I I really think it's it's more of a challenge to them. Like he knew they weren't supposed to win. He wanted to challenge them on national TV and say. You're fucking better than that. How could you come? That's out not what he that? said, though. He didn't say you're better than that. He goes with nine million people watching, and that's what you do, right? He's that's what he said. Down. Fine, do it off camera. Because honestly, here's the one thing I will say about Bill Belichick. Belichick blasts his players. It never gets out. Yeah, it never gets out. And, and Nick Saban's the same way. He may he it, you'll never hear him call out a name or that he doesn't do that. Yeah, no, and I'm, it doesn't I, mean he's not a hard I'm ass. I'm not saying I'm liking what Dion's doing. That's I'm not arguing. This is the that first time I didn't like what he did. I've liked almost everything he's done, but to me, he was he was wrong here. That's yeah. all I'm saying. He's I thought he's done most of the most of them. I thought he's, he's done right all season. But when you get blasted like that, you want to? That's fine. That's off camera. You shut the fucking camera off and you go back to work. Because when you get blasted like that, I don't want to see you in front of a fucking camera. I don't care, Dion. Okay, you, you I don't <laughs> that's care. Not gonna happen. You lost by 36 points. You're obligated okay? to talk to the media. You're gonna see him on. Camera. The media is one thing. That speech to his team is another. That is not required. That's media access. Bullshit. Baby. Media access. You don't. I would not have the media when I'm talking to my team. Mm. And most coaches would agree with me on that. I'm <laughs> not the Oregon coach. That was <laughs> after they won. No, it wasn't. That it was wasn't, before the they game. They didn't show that speech before the game. But the they speech was that. given before yeah, the game. Yeah, but they were. If they had lost that game, you would have never seen that speech. It would have never come out. So I don't understand why. What? Point he that did it makes. to rub Dion's nose in it. That's why he did it. So. That's why he did it. I'm not saying the guy's not an asshole, but that's why he did it. Right. I'm saying that guy's an asshole. So why are you arguing with me? I'm about? saying that he's Dion just made his point. Because Dion said, I don't do things for clickbait. And then his next speech, when he whips his team one, is all over the Every fucking media. Every speech he's done has been on camera. Then don't say you don't do things for clickbait and then do it. Because that makes you a hypocrite. Because if, if he but, says that, then why is the next speech out there? But my thing is, like, I think he's coming in going, I want everybody to have access to this. This is our program. This is how we're doing it. Everybody watch it. We're not it's scared of it. A whole lot of me and a whole lot of not a we. That's what that looks like to me. It looks like Sean yeah. Payton. Uh, so, any anyway, event, no, we saw no, what happened don't to do him. That. 
Doesn't look like Sean Payton. Well, no, he didn't call out another. He didn't, but he did call out his players on. T- on, on in well, front let's of the see camera. how they respond. Let's let's see if they put up a fight against. I'm not UFC. saying he shouldn't have said what he said. I'm saying that's <clears> in house. No, I understand the public what shouldn't you're see that. That's all I'm saying. I understand, but I'm but, not even saying he's wrong to say that. Maybe, I'm saying it's in house. Maybe his team will respond to it. Maybe they'll be like, you know what? Fuck you. You're gonna talk to us like that on camera. That's bullshit. We're gonna well, go. They get, if well. they lose by five touchdowns at home, then we're gonna have a different conversation. Well, so, if that happens, which by the way they might, if that happens, because this team's I'm better sure, than Oregon. I'm sure he'll take a different approach. If, if the USC is better than Oregon. They are, okay? They're the best quarterback in the country. They are better than Oregon. Yeah, so, so, so if it happens again, I think he'll take a different approach. I'm just saying, if you know and that. And that's how we'll know it was a tactic. I'm just, I'm just saying, if you know that that team's coming in, everything is on lockdown. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. Where I'm is not, it? It's in Colorado, which would be even worse if they get blasted at home like that. <laughs> That'd be worse. But Colorado's they, even better than Oregon. They just don't have the troops, though. No, you're missing your best player. And by the way, your best player. Now, but it's not even just about Travis Hunter. No, but you know what? The, and this the, is the thing. The defensive line. Dion actually did something, and I, I agree with him on this. The, Travis Hunter said, look, I, I need to play. We need to play. That. That's what I was and trying Dion to tell said, the story on. And Dion's like, look, I love you. Get better. No, I. Mm-hmm. but the point is, even that one, no one needs to know that. I don't, Dion, I don't Everything need, is on camera. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It seems like these quotes are getting out there awfully in a timely fashion. Almost as if they're planned. And I, I know Dion loves his plays. I'm not saying he doesn't. And I'm not saying he didn't say that because I'm sure he did. But I don't need to know that shit. Hey, Dion, do me a favor. Shut the cameras off and go back to work. Because right now, <laughs> you're on the verge of losing worse. And this, this could be worse. Yeah. This could really be worse. Yeah. I hope it's yeah. not. I'm on record. I'm rooting for Colorado. But this is going to be ugly. Get me now. You, this, better, you better get me now. Because this is the worst we're going to be. I, can use uh, I thought that was funny. Yeah, that's... That. I, don't know. I know you don't like it. I don't. Because I remember Rob Asala saying the same thing when the Jets were 6-4. and four. We're taking receipts. They proceeded to lose seven in a row. That's so true. we've seen that with Sean Payton flaps but, his gums but, and drop, they but, drop a 70-burger on his head. Robert Sala, I felt, said that and didn't didn't mean it. Like, he couldn't have been that confident when he said he that. He was. I don't know. We're I, taking receipts. Okay, well, here's a receipt. You've lost seven straight. Okay. You know what I always said? You know... If you don't have haters, you ain't popping. And, and Sean Payton, who has a resume of winning. Asala's never won a damn thing in the NFL. I'll, I, so fucking Payton's got a Super Bowl ring. He has he's way more clout right? than him. Did he have some with and the Giants, too? He was a very, yeah, he's been a winner everywhere he's been. But the bottom line is, he couldn't get away with this. And he shouldn't have. He shouldn't have. He shouldn't have said what he said about that coach. Everybody agrees yeah, with but that. Dion didn't do that. No, but Dion should not be saying, I don't do things for clickbait. And he's I mean, blasting this guy's blasting, this guy's blasting Dion. <sighs> But he's not. When Dion does that, he's proving his point. So he's still blasting. I mean, look. So you're telling me. Why can't me, you understand? You're that? telling me it wasn't. It wasn't wrong for him to say because it was the truth. But Sean Payton spoke the truth too, and you're saying it was wrong for him what, to say that. What I said about Sean Payton was, you can think it. Okay, you can even say it behind closed doors, but that never goes public. Okay, but because but, look what happened. So Mr. Look what Mr. Happened. Oregon just did it on Dion after right? the fact. The, no, that he, speech no, came out. He, it came out. Who cares? Well, b- by the way, does he Sean look, Payton said does, about Nathaniel does he, Hackett after. Does he look wrong right now? It's not about right or wrong. Actually, it is. No, you were just saying that. You were just saying that. Dion, Dion said, I don't do things for clickbait, and the next fucking speech he gives to the team is fucking all over the, the fucking this, internet? That, that was after the guy said that. But you... Why don't you... You can't... If Dion meant what he said, then the fucking camera never should be in that locker room again. You can talk... No, the, no, he's saying, look... Look, the this camera, isn't hard knocks. The camera's mu- no, but that's that's kind of what it is. No, it's not because hard knocks ain't in the building. This is him. Everything freaking they trying to do show is the world. on camera. Well, I'm coaching these guys hard. I know you coach the guys hard. Everything they do is on camera. That's what I'm trying Nick to say. Nick Saban. I don't see many of the Nick Saban. He's not speeches. Nick Saban. No, he's nowhere near Nick Saban. Right. He can't hold Nick Saban's jock. He's different. He's, he's not try- even Kirby Smart. Kirby he's Smart doesn't do that. To do it his way, don't you see? Well, his way. Two weeks ago, I, we I, all loved it. Uh, no, I don't love him repping this team a new one when they were out talented. That's not their fault. And their best player couldn't even play. Coaching they tactic. had they had two strikes. At- Coaching tactic. Coaching. Tactic. You just said I wouldn't coach this way myself. I wouldn't. I'm just telling you. Yeah. I. He said he coaches. Okay, hard. we'll see if this coaching tactic works this week against the fucking Trojans. It's not because it's not because work. again, in the, fact, they're probably going to get blasted even worse. And then because he's, of and then he's not going to do that again. He's going to he's going to realize done it okay, this time. I'm not. That's all I'm saying. He shouldn't have done it I'm this time. I'm not saying he, and he shouldn't. He certainly shouldn't have done it on the heels of telling the world I don't do things with clickbait. Because now he looks like a fucking hypocrite. Well, if you don't do things with clickbait, Dion, why am I seeing you trash your team? Everything's on. 
That's all. I'm no, he's say. the head coach. He can tell you all the camera, everything. Out, shut the phones off. Everybody out. He's not. He's not. He can do that. He's, he's the not coach. Scared of it. He's. He he's. Said, he's. He's, said, Watch it. he's blaming them. They're the ones on the field. He's the head coach. Right. They didn't look prepared. Dude, they were playing against people they couldn't beat. You even said I it. know that. So if you know that and I know that and you're saying Dion knows that, why is he doing this? That's why I think it's a tactic. I don't agree with the That's tactic. A stupid tactic. <laughs> but I, that, think it's I don't like it. No, I think he's an egomaniac. <laughs> well, I think it's probably hard to argue that. Well, I'm saying he's showing. See what I'm doing? I'm calling him out. Dion, I know you're going to call him out. You're a Hall of Famer. And you're a Hall of Famer because you demand, you don't sit that back and that's fine. I didn't fucking see you ripping a bunch of kids son, on camera son, when they were out when they were out talented. I care about you more than I care about this game. Yeah. And Everybody why did that come out? Because <laughs> somebody was recording it. I want the world while, to know that I somebody care. Somebody was recording it while he said it. I'm saying not He's every, recruiting, dog. <sighs> he is recruiting. He look it. He's already been recruiting. The best player in the country went to him. Turn down a turn down a fucking big he, uh, SEC school to go play from a Jackson State. He's been coaching. He's been coaching with that kid since he was a kid. <sighs> there That's thing, why. I don't. Need, it doesn't need to be on camera. Not everything he's needs to be on recruiting. He is building. Kids want to come. You need and to be stop part licking his nuts. You're I'm getting not, a, You're getting ridiculous. I'm right not now. licking his nuts. Yes, you are. He can do no wrong. That, that's <laughs> not what I said. Well, he shouldn't be doing it this way after he just got blasted on national TV when his team Dude. when his team was inferior. They had no chance of winning that game. Shut up. We, they were Look, they were better than us. Back to the drawing board if they're ready for USC. Shut the fuck up. When you lose, you say less. Yeah. That's a fuck. By the way, that's yeah. coaching 101. Dude, okay? But, Humble but in victory, again, you're silent trying, in defeat. But you're trying to argue like you're, that, that you're telling me that's the way you would do it. Right? Most coaches do I'm it I'm not that arguing way. Most, that I wouldn't do it that most way. Most successful coaches do it that way. Most. Yeah, we'll see. Just saying. We'll see. Okay? And for everything that, and, and you know, and again, with Parcells, they had him mic'd up on the sideline. He'd blast these guys. But they're professionals. I get that. Okay? And they're, they're not college kids. These are college kids who just got their tail whipped. Okay? At again, that point, again, we're arguing something at that, different. At that point, Because no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying and, that was And right. I'm not saying that Dion's necessarily wrong for saying what he said, but I don't, it shouldn't be on the camera. It's almost like, see, I'm doing this. Yeah. Yeah, that's bullshit. I that's don't what, care. That's what it will always come across. Well, that's give, what it looks when like. When you give that much access, whether it's being done for that or not, it'll always come across like that. America I just think Dion doesn't care. Okay. Dion's like, you can watch what's happening here. This is how we do things. If you like it, come join us. I And again, him that's blasting not those, how I would do it. Him blasting those kids when they were overmatched. Is, they couldn't compete. From a talent perspective, they couldn't compete. Yeah. And their best, their their one home run hitter that might gave him a puncher's chance was out. They had no shot. And you don't got to tell people that. You don't make excuses. But you say, look, it starts with me. I, my job is to repair this team and go back to the drawing board and turn the fucking cameras off. Because when you lose, you say less, not more. That's an he ounce here. He, he's just saying stuff regardless. Again, it's that's the, how it's going to be again, the whole time. I, I've, and I've always said this, keep it in-house. I'm not saying don't rip your team a new one, but keep it in-house. That's all I'm saying. And you can't, after you tell the world, I don't do things for clickbait, put that fucking thing out there. Because that's the problem. He said, I don't do it for clickbait, and then that fucking speech is now out there. Really, Dion? You know, well, why am I looking at this? speech has already been out there. No. After he gave that post game, I don't, I'm taking receipts. He said that. I'm taking receipts. Yeah, I know. I don't yeah. think it's for clickbait. The next fucking time he addresses the team, it's out there? Every every time he addresses the why team, it's out there. Why don't you understand Nothing the hypocrisy has of that? Nothing has changed. Well, that looks like clickbait to me. I mean, and I don't think I'm the only one. <laughs> that's that's fine. And by the way, this is the first thing he's done that I disagree with. And I'm pulling for him. And I, and I know the man can coach. That's not my point. I'm just saying, I'm saying two weeks ago, we we're loving the whole glasses thing. We we're loving all that. Yeah, we, we were going to buy the glasses. Yeah, but we, we, we both didn't think they were going to beat Oregon. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we didn't think they were going to that game anyway. No. I thought they'd be but more competitive. But my point is like. I thought they'd be more competitive. Two that's weeks all. ago, when they were when when they were coming off both those wins, they barely, we loved it. Now they, they lost one game, and it's like they, he's they supposed barely, to be in a hole now. No, no he's continuing not, to be Dion. It's not. That's that, how he's going to win. Not, that, that, I'm not saying stop being who you are. I'm saying turn the fucking camera off for once. It's not okay happen. when you when you tell people you it's, know you don't do things for clickbait. Don't fucking put the thing on fucking for on the internet because that proves his point. TV. It wasn't must see. I need to see that. I'm just saying. Hey, Dion, nice job ripping a bunch of kids that were outmatched talent wise. Good for you, Dion. That's crap. He didn't need to do that on camera. He could have done it in private.
Keep it in house. Hey, you're still arguing that with me when I'm not arguing that point. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I think that was bullshit. Yeah, I get that. Okay, and I think that that, that makes him a hypocrite. Saying, oh, well, here, why is the next speech on there if you don't do things for clickbait, Dion? See, this is where I disagree. No, well, it's not about what he, you know whether or not what he did was right. It's just about the fact that the whole time he was at Jackson State, now he's here. The the stories have been found. I'm not they even want saying. Have him on I'm camera. not even saying there's things that that should you shouldn't put out there. But when you're addressing the team, you're like that one after thing. that, after what happened to them, that does not go on the internet. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not saying there's other things like in recruiting. I get that. And in this world, you have to do shit like that to recruit. That's not something for the American public to see. Yeah. And that's not recruiting. That's like, all right, dude. All right, enough. They were you. Mm-hmm. Come on. You, you can't tell me you thought they were going to win. But did you see the interview where they were asking him about what he said to all, like, the kids here when he was like, hey, you know, y'all can go ahead and jump in the transfer. I saw it. I'm bringing, I'm bringing my I'm bringing Louis. my guys. I, I'm bringing luggage, yeah. and it's Louie. Yeah. Um, and then the guy questioned him. He was like, do you think that's, you know, okay that you said that? And some people left the team. He's like, well, if you're going to allow words to, you know, if you're going to allow somebody to come in and tell you to leave and you're just going to leave – you don't belong here. Well, you were one in eleven for right. a reason. He was like, you, you don't belong here. And right? I don't disagree with that either because so, they were bad. They had to earn their spot. Yeah. So because he didn't recruit those kids. I know, but here's uh-huh. my thing: as as somebody who has led people, I would never do something like that. Most I would people, never walk into a room of kids I didn't know yeah. and just assume yeah. y'all can leave. Yeah. But that's not my style. Like I no. wouldn't coach that. And hard. I'm not saying that you know Dion I mean? shouldn't have torn a new one. I'm saying that's something you keep just in not house. Camera. Yeah, that's the one. There's things but that I'm I saying, think. He came okay, in and he did that I, to all those kids on camera. I know. That's kind of my point. Is like since the start, like this is how it's going to be. Everything he does is going to be on camera. That's all I'm saying. It's like because it, even even that that meeting he had telling those kids to be in the transfer portal that was recorded. We saw it. Like, but that you can't avoid. That's it. It's just different because that camera. team was horrid. No doubt. They were horrid. And, and by the way, he... But that's still fucked up for him to come in there and say no, that. You, if you're 1-11... But it was a tactic. If you're 1-11, your job's not safe. Right. and Because you're a part of the reason you're 1-11. So what he said was, look, you're going to have to earn it with me. If you don't like it, go get in the portal. It was a tactic. I don't have a problem with that. They were 1-11. It was a tactic. <laughs> okay? The bottom line they is... They were 1-11. eleven. Exactly. I'm saying... They needed to come and be kicked while they were I'm down. I'm saying <laughs> this is something that is in-house. Not everything has to be on camera. Everything is. It shouldn't be. And then, by the way, he made that choice. He chose yeah, that. No, I agree. Okay, so that's why I have a problem with it. Okay, I'm not saying don't blow him up. I'm just Keep saying it's been like that the whole time. And that, that time he was And wrong. we loved it two weeks no, ago. No, but he didn't do this. He didn't do this. I, but I think uh-huh. when, when everything If he had done camera, this two weeks ago, I wouldn't have liked it. Sure. Okay? Sure. He just didn't do it yet. Okay? I just, but, think, I just think it's going to be like that. You think those think kids it, weren't embarrassed? Let me ask you a question, okay? You think those kids weren't embarrassed already? Again, I'm not. You, you're, are, you're arguing that with me. I'm not arguing. I'm saying that. he was wrong to put that out there. Right. I'm not, I'm not arguing Period. against that. And I'm not saying he shouldn't have said it. That stays in house. So you keep saying that as if I'm saying he wasn't. One, what wasn't one? He wasn't one. So you keep saying, I'm saying he shouldn't have put that out. I know you're saying that. And he was wrong. I didn't say he I was don't right. Think I, he was wrong. But not everything has to be clickbait. Right. That's all I'm saying. So anyway, um, but it is USC it is favored by bit. at least three touchdowns. Um, <laughs> at least three. Oregon was favored by 21. They covered. By they covered. Um, Fuck, so it's midnight. I know. Anyway, we're gonna end this segment on that. And sh- we're back Friday night. This segment was awful. It wasn't awful. It was a, ten minutes of you and I arguing about, about what Dion that about speech. Dion's. I got news for you. We weren't the first ones to argue about this. Really? There are people that are going, why did he do that? <laughs> why? Dude. Again, and they weren't saying what he said was wrong. Why is that on camera? They were, those kids are already in bed. Why are you doing that? There's coaching them hard, and there's something else. Okay? And why? And, and look, no one believed he was going to go in there and hand out milk and cookies. I just don't understand why everybody's asking why. It's all been on camera. Because he said, on, he said, I don't do things for clickbait. So now they're going, well, why am I looking at that? You've been looking at everything. That's you. You can't. You can't say what he said and then put the next fucking thing you do on camera. He and by the not. way, the next thing you put on there is you ripping the team a new one. <laughs> and then the one following that is you saying you care about Travis Hunter. Yeah, like what? The, look, I know you care about Travis Hunter. I'm fucking. What the hell is that shit? 
And of course, Travis Hunter wants to play. He's a fucking competitor. See, and then he said, "Look, I care about all y'all more than football." So, so he wanted to. Oh, really? Rip- then why is he doing that? Well, no. So he did that after. So he ripped them all. <laughs> then he, his next video was him telling him he cared about them. You see what he's doing here? It's all such a nice tactic, not for clicks at all. And yet it got millions. <laughs> Mr. Adam, do things for clicks. Good for you, Dion. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for and us then tonight. And Mr. Oregon. They're, they're going for clicks. We're going for wins. Okay, buddy. Oregon. Yeah. Yeah, you guys aren't going for clicks at all. Oregon's 4-0. Oh, he can say whatever he wants. When, you, when you're undefeated, you can say whatever you want. You're going to be a prick when you're undefeated. Come on. When you're win- What did the guy say? Uh, was it Bro Lerum? Where the guy goes, look, when you win 20 in the show, you can have fungus on your, on your shoes, and people will think you're colorful. <laughs> but when you're throwing grapefruits up there, you look like a slob. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, Kevin Costner was not wrong when he said that. Because when you're winning, you you look, yeah, absolutely. But when you're losing, no, no bueno. And by the way, you can't have it both ways. If you want all the praise and you're going to win, if you're going to do that shit, don't be surprised when you get called out on it. But see, but see, that's my point to you. You can't have it both ways. You can't say... I, lo- I love what's happening. I love seeing all I'm the I'm saying speeches. that is the sun. I love that, seeing that is, all this. And then they lose and you still see it. And it's like, uh, no, what's he doing? I'm saying. That's what he's been doing. No, he, he hadn't done that. Because they hadn't lost. Well, the point is, when you lose like that and you're out talented, you're overmatched. There's only so much those kids could do. Right. You don't need to rip them a new one when you knew. He knew they were overmatched. He's not stupid. Again. There's motivation. Again, we're, we're not arguing that. Well, I'm saying that's not a tactic. Because those kids know that team was better. And if I'm a kid in that room going... It's the same thing you did with the transfer report. I get we lost and we got our asses kicked, but they were a better team. If we had played our best game, we wouldn't have beaten them. He doesn't want them to have that mentality. The whole world knows it. He doesn't want them to have it. It's his, he doesn't want them to feel like, I'm saying well, that we couldn't beat that team. Dion said himself, I'm seven players away. If you're telling America that, <laughs> I'm seven players away, but now you're going to go in and beat Oregon? Because <laughs> he said that too, Mr. Clickbait. <laughs> okay? He said that too. You can't say one thing and you can't, oh, they, well, if you're telling the world there's seven players away, why are you surprised you got beat? If you're winning, though, you can. If you're winning, you could you could say whatever you want. Yeah. Well, right. you lost and you said you were seven players away. <laughs> so don't turn around and rip these guys when you told the world that we're seven. <laughs> what Dion did this weekend is what he's been doing the whole time. I'm saying you can't. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying he said there's seven players away. So then he's you. He's been that brutally then, honest then since you're, day Then one. you're basically telling us, all right, so you're not ready to beat this team anyway. Because that's what you're saying. I agree. So then why are you turning around and ripping them a new one? <laughs> Got to be a tactic. If I'm in that locker room going, you just told the whole world with seven players away, and now you're going to rip me a new one? Exactly. That's going <laughs> to... He see, see, he wants the kind of player that's going to understand that and go, fuck you. you that's you, fine, but don't say that and then this, because you look ridiculous. You're telling the world, look, I know we're not good enough. Okay, well, Everybody if you know that, that... What? Everybody knows that. So then why is he going in there and rip going, you play he's like pushing that? Them. He's coaching them hard. You I, play like that against a far I, superior team and I, you're missing your best player? Yeah. And by the way, with him we were seven players away. Without him, we're eight players away. He calls it coaching hard. I'm not saying I'd do it. I wouldn't. Fine, do it off camera. Do it off camera. Anyway, we'll see you guys. Well, on. We could talk for ten more minutes about this. Do you want to? No. <laughs> 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 One of our worst arguments we were at. It's not an argument, it's a discussion. We're having a discussion about it. But it so it's always it always becomes we're arguing about the right or wrong of whether he did it, and that wasn't what we were talking about. I don't think when you tell everyone that has an ear and eyes that you're seven players away, and then it, it, it actually comes out that way that you need to put on camera you ripping your your team that's not as talented down, and then they're missing their best player on top of it. I don't think that's necessary. Because that's him showing the world, hey, this is how I coach. I, I don't need to see again, how you coach. Again, again, I agree with that. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. But, but that, that's why I'm saying I think this it is was one wrong. of our worst arguments. Because you keep saying you think it was wrong. It was wrong. And I agree with that. Okay. But somehow we're arguing. Because you're trying to justify it. Well, he always does not that. not justifying it. Sounds like you are. No, I'm, I'm not justifying. I'm saying I wouldn't do that. I don't agree with it. I don't think and at the same would. time, I'm also saying, however... This isn't him pushing This is the what he's been doing the entire time. Two weeks ago, we loved it. Now we don't like it. He didn't do that two weeks ago. Because the situation didn't call for him to. The way he coaches, this is what he's going to do. He Funny, said it. When he was at Jackson State, he lost. I didn't see him do something like this. 
Never got on clear. I never saw it. And he was in the news all the time up there because he kept he was winning. But they lost six games. No, nah, he game. wasn't on video the same. It wasn't the same. But he was on TV. He was on video. They had their game right, highlights, but, and they haven't did the games at some of his games. So, and when he lost the game, I didn't see a post game or a next week about this. How many this. did they lose? They lost three each year. Three each year? Each year, yeah. Two they won the championship last year? They won the league championship last year. Yeah. And that's when he dipped. Yeah. Well, no, he did what any coach would have done. I, I get oh, yeah, what he did. That. I don't disagree with that at all. I'm just saying that. And again, I'm not saying he you shouldn't do things. I don't. I'm saying that he. Sh- there are. Th- there are. Of course, in this world, you've got to be on the internet and recruit. I get it. That's not something for the internet. That's all I'm saying. I know, and I'm not arguing that because point. he looks like an asshole. Somehow, you've been you've been saying that to me as if I'm denying it. Well, you're you're just trying to justify why. Well, that's not the way he coaches are, Jay. I'm not justifying. I already know the way he coaches. Okay, I'm just saying that you. Don't tell the world you're seven players away before you lost the home run hitter and then go in and blast them because that's why they lost. You know why they lost, Dan? Because you're seven players away. Eight without that kid. That's why you lost. And nothing, coach, all the coaching in the world wasn't going to change that outcome. The, the talent Dude, disparity was that keep, far. You keep telling me this. So like I don't to, me, it. to me, it's not a tactic. It. It's ego. It. It's not a tactic. It's ego. All right. What? That's, so that's the first time that that's you ego. said something that that's ego. Is, yeah. I get that. Because no one needs to see that. And it I looks mean, like he's doing to, his job. But, Dion, you've always done your job. You're successful. I don't doubt you're doing your job. But I think a lot of stuff Dion does is probably out of ego. I mean, he has well, an enormous when ego. When you're a head coach. Like, that's not that crazy to think about. Your ego doesn't come before the team. Well, when you're Dion Sanders. See Sean Payton. <laughs> Super just, Bowl winner. Just saying. Super yeah, Bowl he's winner. got a ring, too, as a coach. And look at what's happening. His defense. Do you realize the the, the the backups for Miami scored 21 points? The backups. Mike White. That means that his he, team basically quit on him. The Jets let him go and kept Zach Wilson. Bad move. <laughs> Although Mike White could never stay healthy. Although, time. yeah. No, he couldn't. That's why I let him go. He's never, he's like Jimmy Garoppolo. Well, well I hope Jimmy's not hurt. He's in the concussion protocol. You never want to Mike see White that. Mike White isn't but. anywhere near Jimmy Garoppolo. No, Jimmy gets hurt getting out of bed. No. Mike White gets hurt more, but he, he's only got like four starts or something in the league. You think he's been hurt more than Jimmy? Jimmy gets hurt every season. Yeah, but I don't know that Jimmy's no, played no. a full Garoppolo's season. Garoppolo's played so many more games than Mike White. Well, he's a star. Right. But, I mean, Mike he's White, never... Mike White, if he comes in and plays three games, he's hurt. I don't know if Jimmy's ever played a whole season. Mike when he was never a starter. More than three games. And he was a starter for, what, three, four years in San Francisco? They went to a Super Bowl. But I think even his games in that season. He still played a ton more games than Mike White. Yeah, but he gets he gets hurt every season. A lot of starting quarterback. Ryan Tannehill's been un, 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 unfortunately very durable. <laughs> unfortunately, they've been praying for him to get. I out. mean, if you're if you're Tennessee, you're like, why could no, imagine yeah, being they, imagine they, being a Titans fan and you see that happen to Aaron Rodgers? Like, why can't that happen to Ryan yeah, but they Tannehill? Drafted, but look at the guy they drafted, Malik Willis. Is, is I like on, him. Is he on? Any, you like him? Hi, um, that, it's our neighbor. Uh, yeah. Um, hello. Um, no, I I like I like that kid's talent level, but I don't know what he the baby I don't know what he is. I think we're keeping the baby out. No, you don't uh, think so? No, because they've got like music and lights and all kinds of crap going on in that room. And by the way, the babies are on the other side of the house. Really? Yeah. You think we're keeping them up? No, they're always up. She's a night owl. Okay. I've seen her at it before. Um, but anyway, um, we are quite loud. We are quite the loud people. In case you didn't know, America. Um, anyway, I've been yelling about fucking <laughs> Deion Sanders for thirty minutes. I think his ego got the best of him here. You could be right on that. Because I don't think I, I don't think any rational coach would put that on camera for what happened to your team. When you know, when you've told the world. I want to I want to see it because I didn't see it. It's it's all you can find it. <laughs> it's out there. It's on you. You can find. It. it ain't very hard to find. But again, and I and look, I've agreed with ninety percent of things Dion has done. But when you get beat like that, and it's not all it's right. not coaching, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, we're beating it. We're beating it. I know. Beating the horse. Beating the damn the horse. Thing. Is not just, the worst segment. People are wondering the, about this. The horse is dead and buried. The horse. I, want, I wonder no, how, I many, we're how many times has the, has the conversation just looped back to, what? you can't do that, though. What? Damn. You can't know you're supposed to lose to a team and, and then go and rip your team afterwards like that. You can't do that. How many times have we looped back to that? I'm just saying it was. And easy. then I go, and then I go, I'm not arguing that. And then you go, but you but can't no, tell me. No, but you're justifying what he did. I'm not justifying. Well, he always coached. No, you, yeah, you said, Archie, he always coached. Everything he does is on camera. 
And I'm like, I'm saying this is something that shouldn't be on camera. Right. That's I'm, what I'm saying. I'm just saying. I'm not even saying what he said he was necessarily wrong. Yeah. I, I'm i trying. I'm not trying to justify it. Let me, yeah. let me make sure I'm not coming in that camp. Well, that's what it, I'm saying. You're like, well, he, but, he, but he always does that. I'm like, really? Because yeah, they've lost yes. games at Jackson State and, they, and he didn't blast them on camera. Maybe it just wouldn't have gotten the hype because who cares if Jackson State loses? How, like they, if he did that for hype, that's the worst reason to do it. <laughs> I'm not saying he did it for hype. He's now at a big school. He's got, they're following him. Does he need he more does. hype? They're playing USC. How much more hype does the man need? I'm not, no, I'm not, let's stop because we're not even <laughs> arguing anything anymore. Damn, was wrong. <laughs> Normally he's right. This time he was wrong. He went too far. Good luck against the Trojans. Oh, dear God. <laughs> do, better than, do better than that. Trojans are better than Oregon. Really? They really are. That quarterback, he's yeah, he's a he's oh, Caleb. Trojan. Yeah, he's the best quarterback in the country. The CW. He's a six five. That kid's gonna be the number one pick in the draft. And who's gonna get him? I don't know. <laughs> Jets. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the Jets will hang around. You know why? Know, because they've kidding. got a lot of talent. Jets around. will probably beat the Giants. The, not without a quarterback, they won't. The Giants. Have Giants can't beat a good defense. Not yet. I haven't done it. It's only been three games. Best defense the Giants beat. By the way, they Tennessee played. Last year. They played two of the top four defenses in the league. Giants. Yeah, San Fran and Dallas, and they played San Fran without Saquon Barkley, and in the third quarter it was seventeen and without, to twelve and without their left tackle. Yeah, I'm saying they've played two of the elite defenses in the league. <laughs> don't, don't gas me up like that. It's true. I know, but then I'm they, not making that but then up. They're going to get all these people back, and they're going to do the same shit. They've got weapons in the passing game. They got. I agree with you on this. They got to do something about the pass rush. They can't keep. They can't. They, well, you better. You've got to dial up blitzes then. You got to go after these teams. Their you can't sit back on the pick. line. Gets no pressure. Zone blitz, and they and they can't stop the run on top of it. Yo, if you can't, run blitz, you can't Just blitz all so night. You can't sack the quarterback, and you can't this, stop the this, run. This would be, and you can't protect your quarterback. But this would be a coach a coach Yost moment. Because if you can't do that with with credential, you got to blitz all night. You got to blitz all and night. Just fucking run past. You gotta, them. They just run right by the blitzers. <laughs> Boop. Right out of it. What I'm saying, America, is if they got seven on the line, you bring eight. <laughs> if they got eight, you bring nine. You bring one more. Than they you play bring. goal line all, all fucking night. game. Yes. Because if you don't, you, that's what you got to do. They're 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 in a four wide outset. No, then you can't right do that. No, but if they got five, <laughs> just no, rush them. No, but you can bring six if they got Send five. Send the house. Bring one more than they can block. Send the house. Bring one more than they can block. Send the house. Bring <laughs> Wink Martindale. Okay. That sounds like a made up name. I know it's not, but it doesn't. Wink it Martindale sounds, sounds like, like a the guy that used to host, host uh, Shop Till You Drop. It sounds like he should have his own comic strip. Do you remember Shop Till You Drop? Came on after Supermarket Sweep. I think so. Do you was remember a, Supermarket Sweep? I do. I, I remember that. Love that show. Um, who was the host of uh, Supermarket Sweep? Yeah. I'm not, he, I mean, he wasn't a big name. He wasn't a big name. I was trying to. I can see his face, but I can't remember his damn name. He always wore um, like a sweater. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember his name for. He wasn't a big name. I thought. No. I, mean, I watched but it. I think there. Wink Martindale might have hosted Shop Till You Drop. Wink Martindale should have his own comic strip. <laughs> isn't no, but Wink Martindale isn't he somebody? Let's see. Isn't he, does he work for the, spare the people. <laughs> <laughs> well, America, on that note, <laughs> he's a, oh, he's a, he's an American disc jockey. Wow, when that I sounds in, like a disc. When I typed in Wink Martindale, Wink Martindale, the Giants D coordinator did not pop up. This fucking guy popped up. So they have the same name. Winston Conrad, Wink, Winston Conrad Martindale, also known as Wink. They have the same name. Wink's not a common nickname. It, no. is an American disc jockey, radio personality, huh. game show host, and that television sounds, producer. Okay, that sounds... That, like, that what sounds... What was he on? Yeah, Wink Martindale. Tic-tac-toe? Sounds like he could be a weatherman. It's Wink Martindale with this week's weather report. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what, what were his shows? Maybe he... You know, he wasn't Supermarket Sweep. No. Do you remember him? Uh, vaguely. Um, the hair, I think I remember. It's in popular hair. culture. It's the hair. Oh, look, New York, New York Giants defensive coordinator Don Martindale goes by the nickname Wink. How do you get which Wink Which he from got 
because he shares the last name with the game show host. So people call him oh, Wink Martindale. Oh, there's the because ah, they have the same last name. See that, America? Every good thing they, you stayed till the good end. Good thing you didn't leave. <laughs> like, now you know the mystery is solved. So Wink Martindale. Okay, so the 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 coach got his nickname from the, the TV personality. Apparently, this okay. Martindale co- uh, show host is a born again Christian. Was oh. once a, a write that down. He endorsed several conservative positions politically. All right. You've officially lost me. <laughs> I'm just we, reading what it said. Oh, look at look at whose asshole's getting all tight because I brought up politics. It was a sports talk show. Oh, don't be one of those. Do you want to talk about politics? We're not allowed to talk about anything. I'm but not saying sports. we're not allowed. I'm saying when when it comes up in the sports forum, because it does from time to time. I know, but I've never known you to get your panties in a bunch of the word politics. I'm just saying we're an hour and 15 in, and if anyone's not asleep, they're about to be. Right, so who gives you shit? <laughs> <laughs> Tic Tac Doe. I must have seen him on that. From 78 to 85. He was on high rollers from 87 to 88. Was he? And Debt from 96 to 98. Debt was a show? <laughs> I guess so. Debt? Probably on the fucking career channel. I'm really? Right, the game show. Debt? That's what it says. Just so you know, Friday night, number 10 Oregon against number 19 Oregon State, or rather Utah, who's undefeated, Pac-10. Utah uh, against uh, Oregon State, number 19. And then Saturday, you've got some good ones. You've got uh, number 24, Kansas. Now, Kansas always folds. They get some hype, and they get the, Kansas is playing Texas. We're gonna find out about Kansas. Basketball number school. Number three, um, they are a great basketball school. Um, then you got number thirteen LSU against number twenty Old Miss. That'll be a good one. Uh, number eleven Notre Dame against number seventeen Duke, who's undefeated. Uh, that'll be that could be interesting. It's at Duke. Um, and then you got what? There was one other one I wanted to see. Where was it? Oh, by the way, the Washington Huskies might be the best team in the Pac-10. They're number seven. They're playing at Arizona late night. Washington, um, really? Yeah, they're good, dude. They, they're gonna, yeah, yeah. What kind of quarterback they got? They've got he's he's a dual threat. They've got a running. They got receivers. They're big. Mm-hmm. They, they 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 look like I got a USC is gonna have a hard time with them. Yeah, they are legit. Washington's legit. So anyway, those are a lot of fun games to look forward to this weekend. We'll be back Friday night. We're gonna do our pick segment on Friday. Uh, right now he is 30 and 15. I'm 27 and 18. Not bad. We can do better. But we will see you then. Until then, enjoy the nice 72, 48, whatever the hell hours break. And we will see you Friday night, America. Until then, for the Redoubtable One, Tom Izzo, the highly questionable Audrey Miliaccio, signing off. Wet my whistle Wednesday tomorrow, midweek. Let's mow, let's push through, America. Push through. The weekend is almost upon us. We will see you Friday night. Wink Martindale actually has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Not the D coordinator. Game well, show yeah, host. not the, we 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 figured not the D game show host. Because <laughs> again, the D coordinator got his name from the D game show. I mean, I just wanted to clarify. He's got a star on the. He really got a Hollywood star. Well, then then, then there you go. Does. That's that's a valid name. Apparently, nickname. Debt was one of the most popular shows on the Game Show Network. I never saw Debt. Is it I? So many channels. Never heard of it. Never saw Debt. Anyway, if you haven't seen Debt, don't waste your time. Um, we will see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> How could you, Wink Stay. Martindale? He's a legend. No one knew who he was until iconic. Okay. See you Friday, America. Be good.